Hello and welcome to the first part of my new series, Dr. Vincent Gold's Walking with the Romans. During the series we shall be exploring some of Europe's best kept secrets from the Roman era. And in the first part of the series we're going to take you around Empyrus. Dr. Gold. So uh, tell us about this building behind you, it looks very grand. Um, yes, this is the classic big Roman building. Um, as you can see there's balls on the top and if there was somebody attacking they actually trained seagulls like this one up here to push the balls off onto the ensuing enemy. They were pretty effective. this building here, what's this used for? Well, Mark, as you can see, even in the Roman times, there was midgets, and they had to have somewhere to live. And with Romans being the generous race that they are, they built houses that were very small. Um, open plan, as you can see, um, built from rocks and soil, mostly, um, <coughs> for midgets. From a spiritual point of view, it was thought that the leaves could steal the thoughts of other Romans. And other like other Romans would eat the leaves to try and get the thoughts back to know what the enemy was doing. That's fascinating. Awesome. As you can see, in, in the Roman times, obviously animals and wildlife was different. Um, and, and one thing that was still alive then was a huge bird and what they would do is they would build these perches to try and lure the bird down so that the bird would be there. And what would the bird do Mr. Uh, Mr. Gold? It would guard them. <laughs> From enemies? Yeah, but I think they were responsible for train, training the seagulls that dropped the balls on people over there on the big building. Well, that's fascinating. Mm. So what was this uh, trench behind you, this uh, trench down this here? This is a bird bath. Oh, obviously, I see. Obviously, when the birds right. up there would get very sweaty because obviously it's very warm. It was still warm 2,000 years ago. <clears throat> and they would bath in, in here. And uh, it's a rather big bird bath. So they were big, big birds. Excellent. Very big birds. In fact, some of them are so big that, as you can see here, that they would actually drive the pillars into the ground. Um, uh, I mean, some of them, I mean, obviously at the time, they would all have had this on top to stabilise the bird. You see, this looks more like a bird bath. No, it's not. That's a bird bath. Oh, right. Mm. As you can see, this was the house of Julius Caesar himself when he stopped over in Spain. Uh, parts of the floor are remaining. Um, and this, what they used to call never ending well, where he would go to the toilet. Um, this was found here, this was Julius Caesar's favourite, priceless and now extinct special shell. This is the only one in the entire world found here, right where you're looking. Obviously, finds like that don't come every day. Uh, 
there, there is no, no other shell in the world like that. Um, as I said, the species is extinct. Um, and should we ever need another one, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to find one. And when this pottery was discovered, it wasn't thought that um, 